everyone. This is George Coase, and welcome back to another episode of Mindset Monday. Hey, what's happening, everybody? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mindset Monday. This is season two, episode four, and I'm just going to ask you at the beginning of this, where are you right now? Right? I don't mean like, where are you in the sense of like your location or things like that, but are you actually in this podcast? Are you, did you turn this on to listen to it? Did this, you know, just pop up on autoplay and it's just kind of going in the background or are you like into this podcast right now? And I know, you know, some of you might take off as soon as I ask this question. And I think for me, the, the thing I want to talk about today is really the ability to be present and how important that is in the work that we do and, you know, in our personal lives. And uh, there's a reason I'm actually wearing uh, my Michael Jordan uh, hoodie today, and it's really connected to um, the show The Last Dance. It's probably my favorite documentary of all time. It's 10 episodes, absolutely wonderful. And by far my favorite part of the pod or of the um, series is in episode 10, there's this one part where they talk about like what distinguishes Michael Jordan from other people, like why, what, what it made him so great. And uh, this is the one quote that I, I thought was really powerful. Uh, and Mark Vansell, author of Rare Air, talks about Michael Jordan's mindfulness secret, which is, except- his, is his exceptional ability to be in the moment. And he says this, most people struggle to be present. Most people live in fear because they project the past. Michael's a mystic. He was never anywhere else. His gift was not that he could jump high, run fast, shoot a basketball. His gift was that he was completely present, and that was the separator. A big downfall downfall of a lot of players who are otherwise gifted is thinking about failure. Michael didn't allow what he couldn't control to get inside his head. He would say, why would I think about missing a shot I haven't even taken yet? And... That's something that really stuck out to me is really kind of being in that moment and not having all these things, you know, from your past, maybe things that you're focusing on in your future, kind of, you know, taking away from that moment and kind of thinking about this. And even when I'm doing this podcast, one of the things I love about podcasting is, I know it's weird, is wearing these big headphones and just kind of turning on the camera and talking to it because I'm not th- thinking about other things other than this podcast, other than what I'm talking about right now, um, other than, you know, some quotes, things like that. I kind of just talk about uh, what I'm thinking right now and it allows me just to kind of think about things I'm doing. It's one of the things I love about, you know, when I blog, I'm, I'm writing about my blog and sometimes when I have um, these moments when I'm trying to write a book, when I'm going through the process, just kind of being present in the writing then starts opening up some other ideas and starts you know, connecting me to other things uh, in a way that I can't if I'm distracted by all, you know, uh, like just things that are happening around me. And I think personally, when I talk about my weight loss journey, uh, really kind of getting my health captured, one of the things I know or I noticed that has been really helpful is I used to uh, have like a, an iPod shuffle. I don't know if you, any of you remember those. Uh, it was just like a little thing. It was, it was actually awesome. You could just kind of like hook it somewhere. It was just totally little and basically had a play button, a back and a reverse button and volume. And that was it. It was really, really simple. And I remember actually using that and I just used to have the best workouts with the, that thing because basically all I could do is play music. Now I love playing music and I think for me it's kind of a distraction, but it actually kind of allows me to be present in what I was doing. And one of the things that I noticed is that when the shuffle was not being made anymore, I, you know, like many people had like an iPhone and some of you might have an Android or whatever. And there's so many other things that you could do with that phone, that device that goes beyond music. I could, you know, be a little bit tired. So I start checking Twitter, I check my Instagram, I, I check, you know, all these other things. And I wouldn't actually be as immersed in that workout. I wouldn't be as immersed in doing what I'm just doing. And one of the things I've noticed over the last probably year and a half or so is basically I just kind of play music and I go away from my phone. And the more I stay away from my phone uh, during that workout, the way better, better the work that I have. And I basically kind of have a rule that my phone is only at that moment to play music. That's it. You can't do anything else on it. Um, you know, and I love music and I don't know if that takes away from being present, but for me, it really helps. 
And so that's something that's really helped me in this process is that in a world full of distractions, the ability to actually just kind of be in the moment doing what you're doing is really beneficial. Now, taking this to the professional side, which I try to always do is try to make that personal and professional connection. I, I really think about two things. And the first thing is when you are on a, you know, a journey in your career, one of the things that I struggled with was always thinking about what was next, right? So when I was assistant principal, I thought a lot about becoming a principal and, you know, kind of like what were the next steps to get to that point? When I was a principal, as soon as I got a principal, when I got to where I wanted to be, you know, just a step earlier, I all of a sudden started thinking about going to central office, becoming a superintendent. And then when I get to central office and I start thinking about, you know, the next thing that I was going to do and what that would actually look like. And, you know, that's something that I could easily fall a trap or into this trap. But one of the things I started doing in my career, really kind of focusing on is if I am present at what I'm doing right now and really kind of just being here and giving it to my best, those things will happen. But sometimes when our minds are into these other places and we're, we're doing other things, what happens is we don't give it our best and then we actually lose opportunities in the future because we're so focused on it. And I think that it, when you're in the present and you're actually doing the best in that space right now, things, doors start to open in your future. And I know that seems almost counterintuitive because we in school districts do like 10 year and 20 year plans. And I always think about like what the, the kids right now do not care about your 10 year plans. They want you to have the best experience right now. And I think that you create that best experience, you know, for yourself, for your kids, things will open up, things will start, you know, kind of opening up with the space. And the second professional aspect I was really thinking of is I remember somebody asking me this question. And I was kind of bothered by it is that sometimes I know this sounds weird. I will, you know, cry in my own keynotes. I'll actually start tearing up. And they said, how do you like kind of force yourself to cry? I have never once forced myself to cry to keynote. I've never like fake cried uh, to get attention. And I know, you know, I've seen like, I know people have done that before and stuff like that, but I haven't. And I think the reason why sometimes I'm so uh, brought to emotion when I'm speaking or talking about events is because when I am keynoting, when I'm actually speaking, I don't really think, I don't think of anything else other than what I'm doing in that moment. And one of the things that I've always appreciated about it, about doing that, I know that I do something I love because no matter how bad my day is or maybe something is going wrong in my life, when I'm keynoting, I forget all of that stuff and I'm just in that space. And I think a lot of people really connect with what I share in these keynotes and what I'm doing because they know that's where I am, that I'm in that space. I'm not thinking about the next thing. I'm not thinking about uh, promoting something else or doing it. I, I'm thinking about being totally immersed in that moment. And I think that has brought me success in that space and has really helped me is really the ability to be present. And I, I wish I could say that in all aspects of my life, I have that ability to be present the same way that I do in my keynotes. And I, I, I always try to figure out like, how do I get to that space? You know, and I, I've worked really hard that when I'm working out, exercising, that I have that same mentality that I do in a keynote. Cause I, I can't say I never look at, don't look at my phone, don't focus on something else. But just when I, that's something I love doing and I just love being in that space and there's really nothing else that's going on around in my head at that time. And so I was really kind of thinking about that and I, like I, I really get immersed into music and things like that are happening around me and they really kind of motivate me. And it's actually the reason I actually um, wanted to kind of talk about this today. And uh, today in my workout, uh, one of the songs from The Last Dance, which kind of inspired um, today's topic on Mindset Monday, <laughs> is um, the the last song from uh, the the whole uh, series is from uh, Pearl Jam, and I cannot for the life of me. Oh, actually, it's, it's called Present Tense. That's what it's called, which is you know. I guess I wasn't that present in that moment. Sorry, just my mind slipped there for a second. And uh, the lyrics in it, it just slowly builds. Such a, it's like I, I 
actually we'll do spin to it now it's like a it's one of my finished songs it's one of my uh at the end of my workout really pushes me hard it has like a slow build and just it's just amazing in the in the show it's absolutely incredible and i wish i could share it but you know then uh probably this podcast will be copyright strikes but at the at one of the lyrics uh that i really kind of heard today while i was working i was just kind of pushing 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 uh is this from that song present tense by pearl jam uh you can spend your time alone Redigesting past regrets, or you can come to terms and realize you're the only one who cannot forgive yourself. Makes much more sense to live in the present tense. And it just really hit me today is that sometimes we get so bogged down with um, mistakes we've made in the past, things that we want in the future, that we're actually not giving our best to the moment, uh, to to right now. And so, really, I think one of the things that we can really leverage, especially kind of going into uh, this year, you know, to maybe next school year, as you're thinking about that, or just right now today is really kind of being in that moment. Cause I think that makes such a difference, not only to you, but the, the people that you surround yourself with, right? If you are teaching, if you're leading a building, right? If your mind is on the next thing, sometimes we're, we're missing out on amazing things right in front of us. So I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you got something out of it. I hope that you were able to just kind of be in this podcast and think about what it meant to you and make your own connections to this because I think that's where the the power of these podcasts comes in. It's not what I say. It's how you connect it. And I think to do that, you actually have to be immersed in what what I'm sharing and actually think about how does this apply? How do I make this a reality in what I do every single day? And some of you might be way better at this than I am, but maybe I just reminded you of something that that is important in, in what we do every single day, either personally or professionally. But again, thank you for taking your time to be with me, for being present, um, you know, while I share these ideas. And I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Mindset Monday. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again for all you do. Take care.